Hello my friends, this is Jose from Lovita. Today I'm going to talk about how to overcome this undecisiveness that we have sometimes and train our decision-making skills. So, I know that a lot of people suffer from this lack of confidence in their ability, for example, to make a decisions or even if it's something that can be trained and learned, right? Undecisiveness can have this reaching effects that it's, for example, just about something. Imagine you're missing a train because you aren't sure if you do right or left and you just missed it. But, you know, it's something also about our personal and professional life that's here, that's a problem. I mean, indecision is often due to some anxiety, which can cause us to feel, for example, overwhelmed by this number of options that we have and f uh, this fear of making the wrong choice. Right? So. It can come from the fear of hurting or disappointing others and from the feeling that you don't have enough information also. So decision making is this important skill that helps us to make these choices and persuade others also to achieve our best. So discover how to feed, to defeat, for example, this undecisiveness and train our decision making so you can become so we can come become more confident in our private and in our work life as i said indecision is one of the most common problems that we have sometimes and a lot of people struggle with this we are going to some practical techniques how we can overcome it the first one and it's a simple one is just take a break so this is a, qu a, a quick break, for example, from this decision-making process is important and then return to it because you are, you are feeling more rested and calm afterwards and taking, for example, a short walk or going for a chat or doing something, some meditation, for example, help us to reset our f um, focus and our thoughts. So I know we make a lot of unimportant decisions during the day from for example brushing teeth or I don't know a lot of stuff but making important choices like a new job or where to move or how to spend our vacations can be sometimes feeling feel make us feel overwhelmed and some people are natural decision makers and others struggle with this so the main cause of this undecisiveness is really this emotional reaction to the choices we have we face for example if a decision makes us feel anxious or nervous it can be hard to trust ourselves and to know what to choose to 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 do it right right so if we feel worried about what other people think of our choice it also complicate more stuff our situation so this can lead to this vicious cycle where we worry about how other people will react to our decision and so we avoid making any decision at all right sometimes so but learning to let go of the need for everyone to agree with you at least when it comes to personal decisions will help us to diminish this tension right so taking a step back from this situation can help us to feel and determine which of our emotions are driven by our decision making for example, if one of our options makes you feel, um, of your options makes you feel angry, it might be a sign that you are choosing something based on the on a wrong reason. So, if an option, for example, makes you excited about something, that might be also an indication that it's the right choice. How can we also help us making this um, master this this indecisiveness? So, focus, for example, on the big picture. As I said, undecisiveness is normally a result of anxiety and this fear of failure. This is especially um, at work when, for example, there is a decision that could have impact or impact others, for example. Uh, you may want to consider talking to someone to help and support and taking the time to focus on this big picture also can help you make better decisions. This is because it will help you to understand these potential risks and consequences of, of different options. It's, it's a big picture, right? Not just one detail. So it will, will also give us a sense of confidence that will allow us to go through our choices. 
um, for example, set also these clear parameters around you that you want from the decision or these out goals from the decision. Eliminate, eliminate for example, these options that doesn't fit you. For example, if you are looking to change careers, you can narrow your options by identifying aspects like what kind of job, salary, the schedule and work environment. Make a list of all these options. And this is also a very good effective strategy to overcome this indecisiveness. To write down your options. This can help you to focus on these benefits and potential, potential challenges about each choice. This will allow you also to compare them against other, each other, I mean this, all these options, what are the best. Uh, writing down your options may also reveal things that you hadn't think about before. Just write them down. The best way to do this is to create this pro and cons of each of this option. This will help you to narrow down your choices and reduce, for example, this anxiety about getting something wrong, right? You can also ask others for advice if you need to. But be careful about their advice. Be, be sure that to only take their advice if it aligns with your beliefs. So the key is to find a solution that works for you and stick with it. Remember, the more you struggle with indecisiveness, the worse it will become, right? Eventually, you will be unable to function as you wish. Like, yeah, as you wish. I mean, getting rid of this problem will ensure that you have the strength to be more decisive in the future. I know that having this difficulty to make decisions can have a big impact in our work and personal life. It can make us feel like ineffective, cause you to miss opportunities and this can affect our confidence. So if you're struggling to decide on something, try taking a step back and look at it from different angles. So next step is to don't rush it so no, if you want to be more decisive it's important not to rush this is for example more important if you have larger decisions to make take your time to wait all your options what i do sometimes is i if i have if i must react to something big or something i just sleep about it i mean i do i reconsider it the next day because it changes our perspective. You know, it's helpful to have the system also in place that allows you to make decisions quickly. For example, this could be having certain uh, or eliminating certain options that don't align with your values. For example, if you are trying to decide whether or not to make a certain career change, you want, you may want to create this checklist of criteria that you can use to help you narrow down your options. If you, sign, if you find, for example, yourself always rushing to make some, some decisions, it may be helpful to seek also guidance or professional help, I mean about anxiety, or talk to someone. This will give, this, this sometimes this gives us this fresh perspective and helps us to develop this more decision-making process, right? And some more efficient process. Also, what, what makes us struggle is to overthink it. So overthinking can be really sometimes also dangerous and this is, it's paralyzed us sometimes. But it's, it's impossible, I mean, it's, it's possible to break it. That means try focusing, focusing, for example, on small decisions at a time and then gradually move up to bigger decisions. So practice this, this decision-making skills can improve your confidence and reduce also our self-doubt. So when you're deciding on something important, it's normal to analyze the pros and cons of each option. But overthinking it can be counterproductive, counterproductive, right? So thinking too much can lead to anxiety and even depression sometimes. It's really hard, you know. So you may feel overwhelmed, for example, if you have too much choices and it's often this cause of indecisiveness. So you know, too much options can help us, can deplete us of our energy and lead to this what we call analyze paralysis right analyze paralysis you may also be avoiding making decisions because you worry about what others will think this is really common you know you know just go about your true values 
The next step is also to set deadlines. What does this make? This removes this choice by establishing clear goals. It will force you to sit down and write, for example, this article or finish a project or take those language lessons, but you must have these deadlines in a way that works for you. So, for example, some people work better with um, a, generous time, a generalized time frame, for example, and others like to break down this larger project into smaller steps. Then set also sub deadlines based on this time, you know, to, that will take for each step. So, whatever system you choose, remember that any deadline over a few hours should be written or written down on your calendar or on our list or putting in in a calendar, for example, will also ensure that you see it when you're checking your phone or scrolling through social media and reminds you to focus on what's really important for you. So setting reminders a few days, a few days or weeks ahead, it's important. Also reminders that will also, I mean, that will also set some kind of alarm that you just focus and stop what you're doing. What you can do is also to keep a journal. So this allows you to record your thoughts, emotions, reasons and why you want this, why you want help you to identify these patterns in your decision making. Like when you're more likely to be indecisive or what triggers, for example, our anxiety. So this journal can be a simple notebook or um, some in a digital app, a list or and there are, it's really record all these details. And this allows you to clearly see the pros and cons of each choice. It can also help you to avoid these impulsive decisions and save you really some time. So using this what, decision journal can be especially helpful when you're making uh, bigger decisions. This allows you to narrow down these options by setting this sub options and eliminating anything that doesn't fit you know so it can also it will also help you to overcome these feelings of inadequacy for example and self-doubt by giving you confidence that you're making the right choice as i said before also talk to others i know we make so much decisions you know we must do so much so much in one day that wears us out you know and but when it comes to bigger decisions it's also as i said we can feel paralyzed sometimes so one of the best ways is to talk to others find a trusted friends a mentor man and ask for advice about the decision you are struggling with and they can give you their perspective and may you also and may experience also a similar have experienced something in the past like you you know you also you could also try asking, for example, your co-workers for their opinions about something. But as I said, it's important to ask for help. If you're unsure about to start or ask advice and from someone to have this perspective and insight in your situations, they can help you narrow down your options and determine if there is any information you might be missing. They can also teach you how to reduce your stress sometimes so you can focus more clearly on your choices. This is especially if you have a professional help. So deciding what to do can be as simple as choosing the right action. So take a deep breath. Consider your options and make the best choice you can for yourself. You may find that once you make this decision, it's much easier to stick with it, right? Just remember that it's okay to occasionally to make wrong decisions. As long as you know how to deal with this indecisiveness. So at home or at work, being able to make these confident, effective decisions will improve your quality of life. It will also help you to become this more valuable person, right? So I invite you to check out the descriptions. Um, I have a lot of resources. Subscribe to our blog. You will receive once a week a guide about how to set up your goals, your ideas. It's really helpful, really powerful. This is stuff only our subscribers will see. So 
subscribe to our blog and to our channel and take care. Let me know in the comments how did it help you. And until next time, bye bye.